it's cracking its joey with i'm Zleep. we're back in the shop we're going to deep in a couple of common harley plugs so just follow along and we'll get right into them the first one we'll get into is this heated grip plug on your fly-by wire twist grip sensor because a lot of times when you're doing t-bars or even apes you could tell somebody already cut this one once before to get it through before it was changed so i'll show you how to deep pin it so you don't have to do this This one you can take like a flathead and just pop this door open. And then once you get that little door open so they're not locked, <clears throat> flip this around. I have another tool, it's like an actual deep pinning tool, but if you don't have one, you can use like a homemade tool. This is just a piece of welding filler. If you have like a piece of baling wire or something that you can sharpen, a cut off coat hanger even. But there's a little clip inside of here. I don't know how well you can see in there, but just ahead of the pin itself, there's like a little clip. You have to pull it away from the metal pin so that you can release it. So we're gonna put a little positive pressure on whichever wire we wanna release first. So in this case, the black one, I'll just kind of pull and push on the connector. So I'm tugging on that wire. And I'll get behind that clip and push down on it. It's gonna come out. Obviously before you take these apart, you're gonna wanna take photos of these so you can remember which side's black and which side's white. A lot of times on the bike, obviously there's corresponding, but this is for heated grips. So if you don't have heated grips, you won't have anything to mate this up to. So you're gonna wanna remember which side's your positive and which side's your, your ground. So again, <clears throat> And just put a little pressure on here and just undo that clip remember it's metal inside of plastic so sometimes they do get stuck like they'll just kind of bite on And then when you want to put it back in, since it is a little spring-loaded plastic clip, as long as you get the orientation in the right direction, see this little step right here? Right here. This is what the little plastic clip is locking in behind so it can't pull out. So when you pull it away, you release it. And if you try to put this in backwards, sometimes it'll go in, sometimes it won't. But if it goes in, it won't lock. You gotta make sure it's in the right way so it'll catch. <clears throat> and then just listen for that like audible click. So that's gonna be your heated grip plug. That one's pretty common, it gets in the way. So it does help to be able to pull that off and fold these wires back and tape that up when you're trying to fish that through some bars. So you don't have to do something like this here. All right, the second most common plug is gonna be these cam bus plugs. Probably actually even more common than the heated grip plug, but all you guys with soft tails and late model dynas like 14 and up are going to have these. These are the ones that I probably get the most questions on how to remove them. So it's easier than it looks. I've seen some tricks on like cutting this door off and sliding it, but it's not even necessary in all honesty. So 
if you have like a little flathead, preferably one of these like deep pinning tools though. It's like a flathead, but it's actually very minor like taper, like a wedge. So it helps sort of shim some of these things off. It's not, it's not as wide as a typical flathead. So we take this and we'll open this door on here. Once you get this door open, inside of here, there's little plastic ramps that serve the same purpose to lock behind a little step like on the other connector. So when you shim this wedge behind here, let's see if we can get that rubber boot out. So you just line up with the wire and wedge that flathead tool in and you'll push the little plastic ramp down. Same thing, we kind of want to put some pressure on the wire we're trying to take and the tool at the same time. We'll do that on all these so you can watch that a couple more times. So we're just gonna line that little, that wedge up. I'm gonna put the flat back side of the wedge up against the connector with the tapering side toward, toward the metal pin. And same thing, we're gonna put a little pressure on the wire and the tool I'll have to shut the door just a touch. And then the same thing on the last one. And then to get them all back in, you can actually close the door. And then just put them back in their proper order with the step facing the right direction. You can see, sort of has that same little box. So that's the catch. And you'll hear a click. Now they're all back in. So that's the male half, and the female half is gonna work exactly the same, but just in case, in case you have any questions. It's got the same style door on it. And on in case, instead on this one, it's got the actual pin instead of the, the female box end, but it still has that little step there. And that's what catches it. Now it's back in. All right, now this one's gonna be another common one, especially on some of the older Dynas or newer bikes if you've done like a LED headlight conversion, like so you can run a Moons or anything like that. So 
uh, depending on which half you may be swapping from one to the other. These ones are also fairly simple. You're just gonna need some sort of pick that you can get inside the slot here. Part of this metal plug that's actually crimped to the wire it just has a tab that's bent out and it's catching the plastic. So you just wanna push it back into itself and then you can pull it out. So we'll get inside of that slot and push push it into itself. And you can see that, that little prong there. And now that it's bent back out, when I go to push it in, it'll click back into place. And that's the same for all three of them. And then on the male half, it's gonna be the same thing. You can actually kind of see the prong here, the little tab, it's here. So you're just gonna push it back into itself, same thing. And you can... And then before you put it back in, just go ahead and bend that little tab back out. Not too far. Now it's locked back in. And then if you're on like an older Dyna or even on, some, on the newer bikes, the headlight plug, these are all the same style. If you have like a mini Deutsch and then a full size standard Deutsch, but these Deutsch plugs are common. Older bikes like a 2000 to maybe like 2013, these are very common for like the hand controls on Dynas. We have the male and female here, and then here's a male two-pin mini Deutsch, like like would be on a on the factory LED headlight harness for like a soft tail lowrider S or a street bob. These are very simple to take apart. On these full-size ones, you can just pop this lock out of here. A lot of times you can just get behind it. And just pull that out. Once you get that lock out, inside here, there's four little clips. You can see them. So when the connectors when the pin is pushed up inside of there have a good one adios when the pins pushed up inside of there you'll just push it down on that clip there and it'll release the pin and you can pull on the wire and it'll come out and then when you put them back in it'll snap into that and you want to line this up inside of there and just lock it back down. So that's the male half. And then on the female half, you have these rubber boots on the back too. You have to make sure these are on the wire already before you feed it into there. And then you can actually, on Deutsch, you can actually have the boot already in it and push the connector through just like on the CAN bus plug and it'll click in. So on these ones, on the female half, you have a little bit different lock. You can't pull it out with your fingers. It's down on the inside. So you're gonna need like a, a some sort of pick to get down inside there. It's got this hollow opening. Sort of get the tip of the pick in there.
uh, once you get that lock out of there, you can see in there also, it's got the same style plastic clips. You can just push down on these and release the pin. So the pin will be, you can push it in through the back and it'll snap in. And you just hit those little spring loaded clips right there to release it. And then when, when you're going in, same thing, push in through the bottom, it'll click in. Once it's clicked in, you'll need a set of pliers. Then you'll have to line it up in the center. Once you get it pushed in, lock it in. So that's gonna be the male and female Deutsch plugs. And then the last ones that are off. We'll do this mini Deutsch here just so you have an idea. It's basically the same, but the lock's a little smaller. Same deal. You pull that out of there. This is a better one because it has the wire so you can kind of see. So if you reach down in there, you can push down on that clip I was showing you. And it'll release the pin. Or we can get that pin out of there. So this is a female pin. Obviously it's like a tube. So when you wanna go back in, you can leave that boot pressed all the way in and just feed from the outside. Until it clicks in, now it's locked, but it's still free without the lock. So take this lock That's that. And the last one, this is a very common one on older bikes, especially like older baggers. We're gonna take this pick. It's similar to the Deutsch plug, the lock that it's got in it, you have to release from the inside though. You can't get it pushed out or pulled out from the outside. You'll just either break it or you'll just keep slipping. So just take a little pick, pop the side out. Pull the door off the back. And then we're gonna have to get that boot out. Now we got the door and the boot out of it. You can see sort of here on the side. Right here, there's a little white tab. There's one on both sides. Those white tabs are locked in and they're attached. That's this lock on the inside. So I have to take sort of a flathead and get it away from the side as well as push it down. You gotta get it unlocked on both sides. Once you get it completely unsnapped, these two little wings right here, see they, they lock inside. Once you get those two unsnapped, it'll just fall out like that. And then just like a Deutsch, it's got these clips that are part of the housing. It's a little plastic deal. You just got a hook behind them. Kind of difficult to see in there. So we'll do like this pink and white. Ah. Oh. And then when you want 
gonna put it back in just like the Deutsch. It's got this little catch here on the back side, this little box. So as long as your box is oriented in the right way, have that audible click. This one's a little more difficult to get all the pins lined up because they're square connectors and they have to be sitting in the square channel for the lock to fit over them properly. And now the lock is reinstalled, all the pins are aligned, and then we can just slide the boot and the door back down. And there you go. And that's all the most common ones that I probably get questions about every week.